Good day to you, Commanders. This is Commander Novakane, and welcome to Gordon Plant. Lovely little burg out in the nether, and at the moment, home to Professor Chunk. Our training craft, with me sitting there in the high deck. There's a space for someone else there, and maybe one day there shall be an occupant there. But here we are. This is our vessel, you will have seen it before, and she's serving me well so far. Today, in this episode of Carrier Signal Decrypting, we're going to be looking at assassination missions. So, Gordon Plant, here we are. Let's load this up. Here we are. Ooh, 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 colors. Don't want colors. Here we are in Tolan. Here in the middle of Zachary Hudson territory. Nanomam is somewhere over there. Um, and in Tolan, we have just taken on a mission in Gordon's, Gordon Plant, Gordon Space Dock. And uh, let's have a look at what that is. Remove book from duty in LHS 250. This is a mission we just picked up from Gordon Plant. Um, and all the missions of an assassination variety can be found with a crosshair as their icon on the left-hand side. Now, let's have a look. We're going to click on this, and this is the transcript of what appeared when I accepted this mission a short couple of minutes ago. So here we are, Toll and Hand Gang. Oh dear, that's probably not a, not a federal organization, but we'll talk about that uh, in, in another video, what kind of organizations do what. Uh, we can see here we've got um, an associated with, so that's the Tonal Hand Gang, we just talked about that. The system, which is LHS 250, that's our target, the destination. The cash we'll get for a successful kill, and the target. So our target here is Birch, or Birch, however you want to pronounce it, really. And we've got five hours, 14 minutes to do it. Um, and that really is as complicated as assassination missions go. Find the target, kill them, and, and get away, and come back to the commissioning station um, for a payout, in this case, of 224,607 credits. Now, for assassination missions, uh, you will have a combat loadout. So let's have a look at what we've got going on here. We're going to go to outfitting. Let's have a look. So we got we got some chaff. We got a shield booster. Pretty standard stuff. Kill warrant scanner. We've got. Uh, we don't need it. Um, another chaff launcher because you can't have you can't have enough. And I think they look pretty boss. Ah oh, yeah. Um, now with the asp is a bit tricky. We've got four type one hard points and two type twos down here. We'll talk about the plasma accelerators in a second. Um, so we've got a couple of beam lasers or burst lasers, excuse me, um, that are going to give us some long range. Then we hopefully will close to the target. They'll probably be in a large ship, um, and then we get the cannons and hit them with the plasmas. Now putting all this in, particularly the plasma accelerators, has given us a bit of a power shortfall. So we've had to do some module management. And if you want to learn more about module management and how to fly with a power de deficit, then have a look at the Starship Modification video as part of the Elite Dangerous Flight Academy that you can find on my channel. So we're going to have a look here. Modules here. Um, we're currently running 105% uh, when deployed. So that's when all of our weapons are out. Um, so we have taken some modules that we won't need. Uh, such as the interdictor, the kill warrant scanner, and the frameshift drive, because you can't even you can't use that when you're deployed anyway. And we put them all to to priority two. So if we turn all of those off, we can simulate, and we got usage there at 98%, and that's fine. So we'll put them all back on now. And so when we deploy, we'll get a horrible warning message, and then these will turn off automatically, meaning we won't lose our shields and be up the space creek without a space paddle. So we have a look here. We've got a fire group set as thus. So when we approach, we'll get the burst lasers on. Then when we get a bit closer, we can get the cannons on. Um, and then when we get to within an acceptable range, we can go to fire group 2 over here. And that gives us access to all weapons in the craft, including the big guns there and the plasma accelerators. Now, I thought they didn't need ammunition. Apparently they do. It's 2,000 a shot, but it's worth it. Trust me. So there we are. So LHS 250. Let's go assassinate. So we're going to go Q. That's on my binding anyway to open up the map here. And we can already see. I've only got one mission at the moment. And here it is. LHS 250. We'll set a course and let's get moving. All right. 
right, off we go. Now remember, line yourself up and then recklessly boost out of the letterbox and dodge the type nine. Lovely, lovely. Now we were doing a little bit of bounty hunting earlier with Art Pach um, up at the top there. So if you're watching fella, top trumps to you. Uh, we're going to take him off our wing at the moment. Cheers, mate. Now, we've set a course for LHS 250. We'll start the charging process. Now, one of the key things I would suggest if you're going to take on assassination contracts is to write the name of your target on a piece of paper. Now, luckily, it's just one word. It's buch, so we can have a look. But normally, it's a bit of a problem because you forget who you're hunting for and then you've got to go on the left panel and it doesn't work because you're in frame shift hyperspace and blah de blah de blah It's not good. Alright, boom! That was very quick. Service is doing, doing very well today. Right, so we're looking for Burch. And you will often get mission people like this Gustav von Hoffenberg. He's going to try and tell me to... Abandon my mission just cause. Which is, you know, it's his prerogative. Um, but we're gonna. This is a video about assassination missions, not chickening out of them at the last minute. There he is. So he's gonna say, please drop down with me so I can try and convince you not to commit murder. Oh yeah, Gustav von Hoffenberg. Nah. Salvable wreckage. Ooh. Nope, distraction. So, you're going to find your target in one of two places. Either they're going to appear in Super Cruise and you have to interdict them. And as we know in 1.4, interdictions are now hard. Or, in fact, let's just let's get some range here. Oh, we got a new contact. Cobra Mark Three System Defense Force. That's not going to be him. Um, so, you'll either find them in Super Cruise and you have to interdict them. Or, you're going to find them in the Nav Beacon. Or, unidentified signal sources. There's a strong signal source there. We ain't having nothing to do with that. Let's intimidate the system defense force. Oh, hello. There's our target. Is it a python? He's a novice. He's in a wing. So you will normally find them in a wing with an escort. In this case, the escort is a vulture. Federal Navy. Oh, dear. Okay, so remember, he's clean. Assassinations are not the same as bounty hunting. You are an assassin. Your target will often have no formal criminal record. Um, so you will be committing an offence by engaging them. But if it's worth the payoff, then go for it. By doing this, I'm going to incur a bounty on myself, which is, you know, kind of rubbish. But caught a million for about, you know, two seconds work. And you can see there in the bottom, it should be red, but it's not working. Mission target. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, Osmanidius. Thank you very much. Good to see you got, you got some fans out here in the ether. I would I would respond, but we are currently chasing Buch. Let's have a look. How, how is my interdictor? What kind of interdictor have we got? We've got a B2. So, hmm, could be better. That's really why it's taking a little bit of time. So, 560 light seconds. Now, I'm not sure whether there's anything out his way. If he's going to a station, for example, we need to get him before he reaches it, because if he gets within the no-fire zone of said station, then we're going to have a bit of a problem. I have done assassination contracts where a, it's a hauler or a Type 6, something easy, and then you can literally just bang in, uh, take him out, and leave before you get too messed up. But here we are, we're in range now, so here we go! And he is clean, so we get an interdiction fine. Let's see if we can get this one. Keep the circle in the middle. Keep it nice and white, not yellow. Uh, of course, his, his wingman's a bit irritated as well, so he's gone hostile for both of them. Just keep them. Oh, oh, oh. We're winning this one, I think. Okay, interdiction complete. So we find the target. We're going to target the power plant. And there is our warning. Now, his escort isn't here yet. Uh, 
And there's your plasma accelerators. You just keep firing. Temperature critical. Okay, we're taking some, some fire here from the escort, so we're already going to deploy our shield cell. I'm not sure. It's too late. Shields are offline already. We're at 70. Whoa, we're taking lots of fire. Good lordy lord. Wow. Good lord. Good lord. This didn't go very well. We're still going to release this video, though. All right, let's see. They're three kilometers away. Let's see. Let's see whether we can get out of here. I don't, I don't think we're going to make it. Right. <laughs> oh, wow. That was extraordinary. We took our shields down, but we got slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered by that escort. Chaff doesn't seem to do anything anymore. So let's get to a station. Closest one, 3,000 light seconds away. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do, wonderful viewers, is we're going to dock at my landing, get repaired, and then we're going to, let's just check whether my landing can do, yes, cabin pressure alert. All right, I heard you the first 400 times. Um, we're going to load up this uh, system here, my landing. Can we repair? N uh, no. Interesting. Can we repair any of the other ones? 3%. I can't, I've, that, we're lucky. We're lucky there. Uh, we can repair at Noguchi. All right. Wow. I tell you, I like the asp, but she's made out of paper. And now, of course, we don't have a canopy, so I, <laughs> where is the station? I have no glass left. We've only got the compass to go on. I'm assuming that she's with this, this other star system over here that we're approaching. Ugh. Oh, that was a wake-up call. And now I'm wanted. How much am I wanted for? 470 quid. Cool, that's a lot. We're still, we're gonna try again. I don't, I don't care. We are going to try again. Cabin pressure alert. So we need to try and find the, the the station without having any actual visual clues. Maybe it's in orbit of this planet that we seem to be approaching here. So they are. We're approaching fast, 11.10. We're going to overshoot it, even though I can't see where it is. Ah, uh, superb. I like it. You've got to regulate your breathing. Don't panic. Right, see that little blue dot there? There's two of them, actually. So I guess we're heading for this one. But we're going to find Birch, and we're going to have another crack at him. And let's overshoot this station. Because that's what we do! <laughs> oh, God. There you are. Ah! Dropped out too early. God, I'm rubbish at this game. Hmm. I, li I don't think I've got any glass left. Oh, there, there's some. Some there. Hmm. That's, that makes it work. That gives me hope. Cabin pressure alert. Frame Invest in life support, I would say. 3%, good lord. My bill's going to be huge. Alright, let's see. Are we aligned? Yes. There's the little blue dot, so we can see there. And that's what we should have done. It was too eager. So, Noguchi Dark Outpost. I really hope they can support the ASP. Superb. They got a free slot. Let's go in. Let's repair. And then we'll have another crack at this. Cabin pressure alert. 
Well, at least it's going to make for an industrial... Well, this is an industrial office. An industrial-sized video. Let's not crash into the station! Oh, God. This is not a good day. Not a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Come on. Come on. Don't fly drunk. I mean, I'm not drunk. But if anyone wants to know why I'm so rubbish at flying, then I'm going to say that. Ten grand! There we are. So, that's that's it. We're fully repaired. Let's go. Launch. And we're going to have another look. Ooh, in three minutes, my bounty will disappear. That's encouraging. Let's renew it! God, I'm crashing into everything. Fangsturm, this is a dark piece of space. Stay well clear. Here I'll get out of mass lock and have another go at this. Frame shift drive charging. Frame shift drive charging. Superb. Four, three, two, one. I might need to get a posse to get it. There he is. Oh, he's now in a wing of three. A vulture and a viper. We are going to have to take him out right quick. This will be our last attempt at it. And if we can't get it, then this video is going to be basically um, uh, a hypothetical of, <laughs> of, of how, of how these, uh, these assassination missions work. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, Lord, my interdictor is so rubbish. Let's let's try again. I, how has he got another another part? Oh, I just can't believe it. Can't believe it. He's now got a wing of three. I bet you we're not going to survive this. This video is going to end with me exploding. And then what's my rebuy? Eight hundred twenty-four grand. So this this mission is going to cost me eight hundred twenty-four grand. But I will not abandon it. The fine's a bit lower this time. So his army of escorts are already hostile. We're going to need to take him out in about three seconds to avoid getting murdered. Ooh. Okay, interdiction complete. Round two, Burke. All right, weapons deployed. Yes, power plant capacity exceeded. Bloody, bloody, bloody la. Fire at will. And miss. Okay, here come the other guys. Right, I'm putting on a shield cell already. Let's try to not miss every single shot we take. Oh, that would have been a good opportunity. All right, taking huge amounts of fire, mainly from the fragment counters. See if the shield cell can get in there quick enough. I've got the fire groups mixed up. So plasma accelerators on one. That's what I need to remember. Right, I'm using all the shield cells just just concurrently. This is a hit and run operation. All right, get a good angle and fire. All right, positive impact. The shields are down. Let's just. Get a good angle. Another shield cell out. Oh, don't chaff me, bro. What are you chaffing me for? Alright, alright, alright. Line it up. Fire! I think we got him there. 93. 93 is not good enough, is it? Shields are offline. 84. I'm at 86. Oh, it'd be good if we didn't miss. 77. We're at 64. 53. Going around to 70. I'm at 34! 31! Man, that vulture can pack a punch. Let's chaff it. Let's chaff it. We're running. We're running. We're running. 
Oh, we are so dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's how assassination missions work. Federal Navy, don't don't mess with those guys. Eight hundred twenty-four grand. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm still going to publish this. I'm still going to publish it. I've not done this for nothing. So this video cost me eight hundred twenty-four thousand credits, uh, plus the the repair. Abandon. I am sure. Failed. Oh yeah, we also lost all our bandits. So probably well over a million quid there. <sighs> Superb. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Next time on Carrier Signal Decrypting, we're looking at the crossover between Grand Theft Auto and Elite Dangerous, with a coverage section on mercenary contracts. These arrangements from minor factions will have you targeting the police, traders, civilians, bounty hunters, anyone you name it, to get your faction ahead. The risks can be extreme, as can be the payouts, so make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Colors. Don't want colors. Here we are in Tolan, here in the middle of Zachary Hudson territory. Nanoman is somewhere over there. Um, and in Tolan, we have just taken on a mission in Gordon's Gordon Plant, Gordon Space Dock. And uh, let's have a look at what that is. Remove book from duty in LHS 250. This is a mission we just picked up from Gordon Plant. Um, and all the missions of an assassination variety can be found with a crosshair as their icon on the left hand side. Now let's have a look, we're going to click on this and this is the transcript of what appeared when I accepted this mission a short couple of minutes ago. So here we are, Toll and Hand Gang. Oh dear, that's probably not a, not a federal organization, but we'll talk about that uh, in, in another video, what kind of organizations do what. Uh, we can see here we've got um, an associated with, so that's the Tonal Hand Gang, we just talked about that. The system, which is LHS 250, that's our target, the destination. The cash we'll get for a successful kill, and the target. So our target here is Birch, or Birch, however you want to pronounce it, really. And we've got five hours, 14 minutes to do it. Um, and that really is as complicated as assassination missions go. Find the target, kill them. Good day to you, Commanders. This is Commander Novakane, and welcome to Gordon Plant. Lovely little burg out in the nether, and at the moment, home to Professor Chunk. Our training craft, with me sitting there in the high deck. There's a space for someone else there, and maybe one day there shall be an occupant there. But here we are. This is our vessel, you will have seen it before, and she's serving me well so far. Today, in this episode of Carrier Signal Decrypting, we're going to be looking at assassination missions. So, Gordon Plant, here we are. Let's load this up. When deployed, so that's when all of our weapons are out. Um, so, we have taken some modules that we won't need. Uh, such as the interdictor, the kill warrant scanner, and the frame shift drive, because you can't even you can't use that when you're deployed anyway. And we put them all to to priority two. So if we turn all of those off, we can simulate, and we got usage there at 98%, and that's fine. So we'll put them all back on now. And so when we deploy, we'll get a horrible warning message, and then these will turn off automatically, meaning we won't lose our shields and be up the space creek without a space paddle. So we have a look here. We've got a fire group set as thus. 
So when we approach, we'll get the burst lasers on. Then when we get a bit closer, we can get the cannons on. Um, and then when we get to within an acceptable range, we can go to fire group two over here. And that gives us access to all weapons in the craft, including the big guns there and the plasma accelerators. Now, I thought they didn't need ammunition. Apparently they do. It's 2,000 a shot, but it's worth it. Trust me. So there we are. So LHS 250. Let's go assassinate. So we're going to go Q. That's on my binding anyway to open up the map here. And we can already see. I've only got one mission at the moment. And here it is. LHS 250. We'll set a course and let's get moving. we go now remember line yourself up and then recklessly boost out of the letterbox and dodge the type 9 lovely lovely now we were doing a little bit of bounty hunting earlier with art pack um, up the top there so if you're watching fella top trumps to you uh, we're going to take him off our wing at the moment Cheers, mate. Now, we've set a course for LHS 250. We'll start the charging process. Now, one of the key things I would suggest if you're going to take on assassination contracts is to write the name of your target on a piece of paper. Now, luckily, it's just one word. It's buch, so we can have a look. And, and get away and come back to the commissioning station um, for a payout, in this case, of 224,607 credits. Now, for assassination missions, uh, you will have a combat loadout. So let's have a look at what we've got going on here. We're going to go to outfitting. Let's have a look. So we got we got some chaff. we got a shield booster. Pretty standard stuff. Kill warrant scanner we've got. Uh, we don't need it. Um, another chaff launcher because you can't have you can't have enough and I think they look pretty boss. Ah oh, yeah. Um, now with the asp is a bit tricky. We've got four type one hard points and two type twos down here. We'll talk about the plasma accelerators in a second. Um, so we've got a couple of beam lasers or burst lasers, excuse me, um, that are going to give us some long range. Then we hopefully will close to the target. They'll probably be in a large ship, um, and then we get the cannons and hit them with the plasmas. Now, putting all this in, particularly the plasma accelerators, has given us a bit of a power shortfall. So we've had to do some module management. And if you want to learn more about module management and how to fly with a power de deficit, then have a look at the Starship modification video as part of the Elite Dangerous Flight Academy that you can find on my channel. So we're going to have a look here. Modules here. Um, we're currently running 105% uh, 